Suppressive is a loaded word in Scientology, so the lyrics from this 2012 Lisa Marie Presley song seem to send a message. I reported that Lisa Marie Presley left Scientology in 2014 after trying to have a showdown with the leader of the organization, David Miscavige. But it wasn't clear why, what Lisa Marie was going to testify to until we heard some absolutely amazing information from the prosecutor. Presley was subpoenaed to testify for the prosecution, but through an attorney recently notified prosecutors she may take the Fifth Amendment. Deputy D.A. Mueller explained to the judge while we were listening that Lisa Marie Presley was subpoenaed and what they wanted her to testify to was after Jane Doe 1 had been raped by Masterson, she was talking about going to the police. And Scientology asked Lisa Marie Presley to talk Jane Doe 1 out of it. The way the prosecutor was describing it, it sounded like a classic case of obstruction of justice. What that means is that Lisa Marie Presley would not just be testifying to a crime committed by Scientology, but one that she had taken part in. Therefore, she had some exposure, some legal exposure, and they did not want her to come in uh, unless something was done about that. The DA said that he felt that the statute of limitations had run and she probably didn't have anything to worry about, but he did offer immunity. Masterson's defense attorney, Karen Goldstein, argued against allowing Presley to testify and referred to this message obtained by Eyewitness News from Lisa Marie Presley to Jane Doe 1 back in 2014. Quote, so much has happened and changed, and I need to start by apologizing for contributing in any way those years ago for helping anyone who tried to quiet you about what you had gone through. Those were crazy times with crazy people, and not one of them remain in my life now. Please write me back so we can talk. L. The church says it has, quote, no policy prohibiting or discouraging members from reporting criminal conduct of Scientologists or anyone to law enforcement. Judge Omedo decided that this was material more appropriate for the civil lawsuit against Scientology and not the criminal prosecution against Danny Masterson. Also this week, we heard from Trisha Vesey, an actress who was never in Scientology and gave Eyewitness News permission to use her name and photos. Trisha told the jury Masterson raped her two times back in 1996, but she never told anyone about it until the LAPD investigation became public. He described a rap party that ended up at Danny's house and that she freely admitted she had a lot to drink. She was uh, drunk, she was trying to go to sleep. And her testimony was that Danny Masterson pulled her into his room and raped her. Trisha explained that she couldn't process it as rape and allowed Masterson into her apartment a month later, where she testified he raped her again after giving her a few swigs from a flask of alcohol. Defense attorney Philip Cohen pressed Trisha on why she continued contact with Masterson over the years and even went to a party where Masterson was DJing. Philip Cohen had asked her, well, didn't you go to an event that Danny threw after these incidents? And she said, yeah, he was DJing under the name Donkey Punch. DJ Donkey Punch, which is a slang term for a kind of anal rape. The same thing that he's accused of. Masterson is not charged with her alleged rapes and he denies her claims. Masterson has pleaded not guilty. It's not clear yet if he'll testify in his own defense.